Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I have a quick detailed tip and that is how to clean this knob right here on your steering column, which can oftentimes get built up with a lot of grime, moisturizers that we put on our hands, makeup, all that stuff. Let's zoom in here a little bit. So as you can see, you got some makeup and grime, just, you know, oil, skin from our hands built up on this uh, component of the steering column right here. We'll zoom in a little closer. I see a lot of detailers really overcomplicating this process. All right, I don't know if it's just to make things look cool on YouTube or make or to make things look satisfying. I see people steam cleaning it. I see people brushing it gently with makeup brushes and APC. It's really not necessary. This will come off with ease because a lot of this is organic material from our hands. All right, so I'm gonna show you my process to clean this. Sometimes, yes, you might need to steam clean it if it's really, really caked on there, but I'm gonna show you a simple way to clean it that's really, really safe, and anybody, and I mean anyone, can clean this. So you don't need a steamer. A steamer could damage this area. If it gets too hot, you could wear off the actual lettering on this button right here, this knob, all right? so. Again, anybody can do this. It doesn't have to be a detailer. It could be just you at home, and you can use this method to clean any surface on your car on the interior. A lot of people are intimidated by cleaning things on the interior of their car because they think they might damage something, but it's really more simple than you think. So all I have is, so all I have is a damp microfiber cloth, just water, okay? You don't need anything fancy. You can literally just use water, not dripping wet, but just damp. All right, all you have to do is just work your fingers on it and gently wipe the knot. All right, see, look at that. You don't need makeup brushes and fancy little soft detail brushes with APC, massaging it all over the place. You don't need to steam clean it and blast the component with steam. Remember, there are electrical components within this. Look at that, clean, that's it. Okay, so you don't need to be saturating everything and all of your electrical components with makeup brushes and all purpose cleaner and degreasers. Literally, that's it. You just need to use water. That's all you need and you can use a damp cloth on any component of your interior and wipe it down. That's all you need, it's very simple. You don't need to be a rocket scientist. This is why everyone and their sister is starting a detailing business because it's so simple and easy. So again, if you see anyone using a soft bristle brush and massaging all purpose cleaner all over it, getting it all foamy and sudsy and wet, there's no reason for that. It's just for show. You can literally just wipe it off with a towel. You can literally just wipe it off with a microfiber towel. I hope that simplified things for you. I hope it made things a little less intimidating. If you're a detailer or just a regular person at home who just wants to clean your car, that's all you need. You don't need to complicate things. So you saw how grimy that looked before. Now it's pristine and clean. That's it. That's all you need. That's my detail tip of the day. If you found that helpful, subscribe, like the video, Comment down below what your process is to clean this area of the vehicle. If it differs from this, if you think I'm wrong, if you think I'm right, but I think it's a little more simple than a lot of us make it out to be. For more detail tips and detailing related stuff, subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I'll see you on the next one.